This video has been prepared by Pima Association of Governments to share information about Arizona's open meeting law and how you as a committee member of the Regional Transportation Authority must comply with requirements of the law. Arizona's open meeting law requires that meetings of public bodies be conducted openly. Notices and agendas must be provided for such meetings to inform the public of the matters to be discussed or decided. Let's start with the purpose of the law. The law requires meetings of all public bodies and its appointed committees to be conducted openly to ensure public access to government decisions since it is the business of the people. Two important requirements of the law are that notices and agendas must be posted in advance of the meeting. Agendas must contain information that lets the public know about the matters to be discussed or decided. The statute defines meetings that must be open to the public. First, a meeting is a gathering of a quorum of a public body at which they discuss, propose, deliberate, or take legal action. The meeting may be in person or through electronic communications. Second, a quorum generally is a simple majority of the members of the public body. Third, a public body includes the RTA board and advisory committees and subcommittees established by the RTA board. There are several components of an open meeting. As mentioned earlier, a public notice is required to invite the public to attend or listen. The public members may record the meeting. An important component is that any action taken by the body must occur during a public meeting. The meeting notice itself involves several requirements. You must provide a minimum of a 24-hour public notice, except when emergencies occur. The notice must include an agenda. The agenda must describe the specific matters to be discussed, considered, or decided. The agenda cannot have general statements, such as new business announcements or future agenda items. Calls to the audience are allowed, but not required. During the call to the audience, the public may express concerns on matters that are within the public body's jurisdiction. Time limits, place restrictions, and speaker decorum requirements are allowed. Public comments, however, cannot be discussed by the public body. No legal action may be taken by the public body. Committee members are able to respond to direct criticism. A statement describing the legal action taken by the public body during the meeting must be posted after the meeting. A recording of the meeting also shall be available after the meeting. Let's review some of the key points about the open meeting law. First, discussions should remain focused on a specific topic listed on the agenda. Conduct of a member of a public body should not knowingly circumvent the open meeting law. In addition, committee members should take special note that email responses and phone calls may lead to open meeting law violations. Also, a member of a public body cannot direct others to communicate with other members in violation of the law. Here's what to know about using email. Meeting notices may arrive via email. You should avoid hitting reply all to the email that pertains to committee business or other matters. Written replies emailed to a quorum of the committee may trigger a violation of the open meeting law. An action may not be proposed by a committee member via email to a quorum even if no one responds. Thanks for taking a few moments to learn more about Arizona's open meeting law and how you can comply with its requirements.